The busy new San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge is inseparable from a Chinese team. However, the United States has always refused to choose China until China contracted the project. The United Steel Workers Union has opposed outsourcing this job. There is no way that American workers will be able to ever compete with $12 a day. In fact, it wasn't just the cost of labor that made Chinese steel more attractive, says a manager at the California Department of Transportation. He says American steel fabricators don't have the capacity for a job like the Bay Bridge. At the same time, bridge officials say their inspections have shown that China, which has dominated bridge building for years, has helped produce a structural marvel that will be immediately usable after a major earthquake. In fact, like it or not, China's resume as a world leader in civil engineering. So, how did China break through the difficulties and build the most difficult bridge in history? First, why did U.S. choose China to build the the new San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge? In fact, the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, known locally as the Bay Bridge, has been completed and open to traffic as early as 1936. The daily traffic flow of the bridge is between 250,000 and 300,000. It is an important transportation line connecting San Francisco to Oakland in the United States. However, in 1989, a 6.9 magnitude earthquake occurred in San Francisco. It was because of this earthquake that the east side of the Bay Bridge in the United States collapsed, and it was reopened after more than a month of repairs. But the good times didn't last long. There were obvious problems with this repair, and it didn't take long for the Bay Bridge to break again. In 2006, the United States decided to increase investment, investing 7.2 billion US dollars, and invited the world to bid for the reconstruction of the 2.88 kilometer east section of the Bay Bridge. For a while, all infrastructure powerhouses joined the bidding, including Western European countries, Japan, South Korea, China, and other countries. Everyone knows that the construction of the Bay Bridge this time will be a big project of fight to become famous all over the world. As long as the Bay Bridge can be built, businesses from all over the world will continue to come to the door. This is undoubtedly a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for China's infrastructure construction, which has just started. In the end, two Chinese companies cooperated and won 95% of the construction tasks of the Bay Bridge. Among them, Shanghai Genoa Heavy Industry Company, Limited won the construction task of the 45,000-ton steel structure of the Bay Bridge, and the other Shanghai Pujiang Cable Company successfully defeated the Nippon Steel Corporation, the industry leader in the world at that time, and obtained the cable production of the Bay Bridge. So, will the construction of the new Bay Bridge really be smooth sailing? First of all, the United States knew that Genoa Heavy Industry was not a professional bridge construction company, so it sent a team of experts to Chongqing Island, the base of Genoa Heavy Industry, to conduct on-site inspections. But it is undeniable that Genoa Heavy Works is a leader in the global gantry crane industry, monopolizing more than 80% of the global gantry crane market, and its strength is definitely not untenable. Moreover, in all ports in the United States, 90% of the cranes are manufactured by Genoa Heavy Industry. Then, the United States put forward a new requirement that the welders involved in the construction of the new Bay Bridge must obtain technical certification from the American Welding Society. In fact, this is a piece of cake for Chinese welders with solid basic skills. At that time, Genoa Heavy Industry had more than 7,500 certified welders, including more than 100 welders certified by the American Welding Society. Not only that, Genoa Heavy Industry also has its own professional ocean shipping team, and the steel structure required for the construction of the new Bay Bridge can be easily transported from Shanghai to the United States with its own transport ship. Even so, the United States is still not satisfied. During the construction period, the United States sent a supervision team of more than 150 people to Shanghai to supervise the work. At that time, behind every Chinese welder, there were three Americans dishing out criticism. After the welding was finished, they also checked the welding point one by one, millimeter by millimeter, 
to check whether there was any cracking problem in the welding point. To be honest, such a level of detailedness has far exceeded the construction requirements for bridge construction in the United States. However, for such harsh requirements of the United States, China has shown the United States what is called China's super high level. For example, if the United States requires the verticality to reach 1-2500, China will double it to 1-5000. The United States requires the splicing accuracy of steel towers to reach 1-1000, and China will double it to 1-2500. All the technologies required by the United States safety indicators, China has doubled. The most important thing is that China also completed the project five months ahead of schedule, and it was officially delivered in 2011, saving the United States $400 million. After completion, the United States offered $30 million US dollars as an incentive to reward Chinese builders. Just now we just introduced the harsh requirements of the United States for the construction of the New Bay Bridge. Then, what are the difficulties in the construction of the New Bay Bridge? After all, the New Bay Bridge has the title of the most difficult bridge to build in the world, and even the United States needs to ask for help. First of all, the geographical location of the New Bay Bridge determines its world-class difficulty. It is located in San Francisco, and it happens to be between two active seismic fault lines. The New Bay Bridge is also located on these two seismic faults. Between the lines, this is the incident when the Bay Bridge was broken in 1989. Moreover, with the lessons learned from the over-earthquake failure of the Bay Bridge, this time the United States has put forward new requirements for the construction of the new Bay Bridge. What's more, the service life of the new Bay Bridge will reach 150 years. All kinds of requirements and data add up, and the construction difficulty of the new Bay Bridge has become the most difficult in the world. How does China respond? That is, to respond quickly and effectively according to the current situation, and if there is difficulty, overcome it. In the construction of bridges, China adopts the large span single tower self anchored seismic suspension steel bridge designed by the United States, which is the self anchored suspension bridge with the highest technical difficulty and the largest span among similar steel structure bridges in the world. Once completed, the New Bay Bridge will become a landmark building comparable to the Statue of Liberty. At the time of construction, in order to resist earthquakes of magnitude 8, the height of the main tower reached 148 meters and weighed 13,000 tons. The tower body was composed of four pentahedrons with variable sections and unequal sides. What is even more difficult is that China needs to combine these four huge towers through 120 connectors, and rely on the combined force between people to build them together steadily. The reason for this is that these 120 connectors will absorb the huge energy brought by the earthquake with the movement of the earthquake, so as to ensure that the bridge will not be collapsed. This feels a bit like the principle of using strength to overcome strength with softness in Chinese Tai Chi. All in all, the completion of the New Bay Bridge is the world's most expensive, most beautiful, the most difficult, the longest self-anchored suspension bridge. And this is not the first time that China has shown its skills overseas. This time, it has completely conquered the global engineering world. It is undoubtedly an important step for China's infrastructure to go to the world. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.